Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dan here. Welcome to the game unboxing for May 22nd. Today we are unboxing Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Uh, the latest in the Ghost Recon franchise. It's been a little while since we last... Well, when was it? Gra 2, I think, was the last one. I, I, don't, I can't remember. I never played Gra 2. I played Gra 1, though. But, so it's been actually a few years for me, because the first uh, for Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter came out in 06. So it's been like six years since I've played a Ghost Recon game, maybe five years. I'm not sure. It's been a while. Um, but anyway, uh, today we are unboxing the Signature Edition, which is no extra cost. You get it for basically just, hell, getting the first batch of games. Anybody can get it if you went out today and you got it. Hell, like... Even the next month, I am not sure how long these first copies last. I'm sure you could get this edition. Might as well, same price, and you get bonus content. So why not? And I know I, I was aware, not when I pre-ordered it, but I did look it up. And there is there is a collector's edition version, I suppose. It is ridiculous. It's so stupid. It's not worth the money, trust me. I think you just get like a... Honestly, I think all you get with it is the, what you get in here. Plus like a turret figurine. So it's like a it's like an anti air gun, but it's like a, a figurine. Are you serious? <laughs> no, thank you. Anyway, so let's take a look at what you get with Signature Edition and what comes with the base game itself. Okay, so first let's take a gander. I'll just open it up for you guys. So you can basically see. I basically arranged this to my liking. Got your game disc off to the right. Oh, and I I want to show you guys actually really fast. Better with Connect Sensor. Um, this is made for, not made for Kinect, excuse me, you can use, you, this is one of those games where you do not need the controller at all. You can actually use your hands to fire the weapon, uh, which is kind of interesting. Will I use it? Probably not, <laughs> but uh, it's cool nonetheless. I'm pretty sure you could bark orders to your teammates with the Kinect as well. So the, I might use the voice command because I have mentioned that is long. The thing is with Kinect, if you have headphones on and you have no noise in the background, the Kinect works. And, but if you have, um, you don't have, you have surround sound going, or you just have your TV's volume, it's going to interfere with your Kinect mic, and it's not going to work properly, and that's why a lot of people have trouble. Remember Mass Effect 3 when I used it? It did work. Hell, it was oversensitive, because everything I said, it would read my commands. So that's what that was all about, and that's why that is. But, um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, sorry, I keep delaying here. I'll open this biatch up, and you got your game disc. Very generic case. I'll show you the Uplay Passport. I'm not going to show it to you, obviously, but uh, this, well, I am, but I'm not going to show you the code. Um, okay. So if you, I've already got my Uplay going on. I have my Uplay account. This is basically your online pass. Uh, however, let me just take a gander here. Um, for using, for getting the Uplay Passport, you get two extra multiplayer. I'll just let you guys read it. That way you're not just believing me, you know. You can see what you get. You get two multiplayer modes, create and save multiplayer characters, co-op mode, online guerrilla mode, and more. So that is basically what comes with Uplay. Now, there are other things here. This here, okay, there, hold on. I'll show you in a minute here. I'll show you this top one. It's not much. You can't tell. It's just a picture. However, I'm going to cover up the code on this guy. This code here is, I'll let you read it, to unlock your weapons, skin, weapons, weapon skins, gorilla mode map, and additional headgear for Xbox 360. And as you can see, you get the bonus map. You can see GameStop in the background. This is going to be a GameStop in the map as well. And you got your bonus weapons. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this as stable as possible. It's very tough. And you got your bonus headgear. I'll get this out of the way. And you've got your bonus weapon skins. So that's that. That's basically what comes with the. This thing is basically what comes with signature. Not much, but considering all you get and you pay like a hundred bucks. No, I think it's like eighty or something. Eighty bucks and all you get is a stupid little figurine for twenty bucks. Are you kidding? No thanks. So I don't even think my my EB Games got it. To be honest with you, I really don't think it did. But because I never saw any copies of the collector's edition. Alrighty, here, this is a French version of the book, so I'm not going to use it. Um, here is my, there was any codes on the back. Future Soldier Arctic Strike. Okay, so it's new maps. I don't like map packs that much for games that I'm not going to get too much into. 
Usually that's the case. If it's just map packs, I won't do it unless I love the game. Alrighty, so first off, here's the book. We have an ad for Far Cry two, oh, 3, excuse me. On the left, you got another thing for you, play. Oh, it's like a pamphlet. Hold on. Okay, let me see what's on the back. Nothing. Warranty crap. This is your book. This is all you get. This, like, th four-page thing. Oh, God. Chintzy, chintzy bastards. <laughs> all right, so I guess that's it. I don't really see anything else with it. You got your disc, obviously. I'm going to look at the back here. Let's see what we can see here. Let's what, what can we read? I tapped the case to focus instead of the... F I'm an idiot. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay. So it's got connect support. Players 1 to 2. Blah, blah, blah. Connect center is optional. Activity level is standing. So you do have to stand for it to work properly. I don't mind standing. Like, I, I'm, I'm physically... I have a physically demanding job outside of this. So I don't mind it. But there's not much... Well, there's room. But it, I don't know if it would work. It would just be like a waste of time to me. So... I don't know. But anyway, that is the unboxing for Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Um, I'm going to start off with a campaign and then move to multiplayer after. So first up, whoa, what happened there? It's like an ec I don't know. Anyways, thanks guys for watching this unboxing. Stay tuned for the game, or for the gameplay for it. It'll be coming up as soon as I can get it up. So anyways, that sounded terrible too. But anyway, I'll see you guys there. Uh, have a good one, and I guess I'll see you around. Take it easy, guys.